Hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning into the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because you won't want to miss out on all the new content I have every single week. Today I'm at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland to check out all the merchandise. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the shops and all the little cool knickknacks they have here in the land. How about you and I dive right in? Alright, so the first shop we're gonna go take a look at is First Order Cargo, and it's right next to Kylo Ren's ship. So, how about we go inside and take a look at what kind of goodies are in here? So, walking right up, we have uh, some cool t shirts, and we have some models of the uh, ship that's out here in the front. And again, this is full scale too, so when you see it in person, it's just out of control. You can buy a smaller version. Let's just see how much this is. All right, sorry, the tag was on the bottom, but it's $225. Uh, yeah, not cheap. So, so, yeah, it's $225 for this particular model right here. They do take the pass holder discount, so uh, keep that in mind with everything we're going to be going over today. For $6,000, you can get a full suit here. You get a full Stormtrooper suit. And I would hope they take the annual pass holder discount. Oh, my goodness. If you just want to buy the helmet, that is $400. And then Kylo Ren's helmet is $750. And uh, it is like a hard plastic, so it's a little bit better quality than what you'd usually find. And then also they have some first order binders here. Those are kind of neat. These are just foam in here. I do like these mugs. These are really nice. They are $22.99. Not too bad uh, for where we're at. And they also have some different uh, t-shirts, long sleeve, and they had some short sleeve t-shirts over in the corner over there. And then uh, this is actually pretty cool. I think it looks like a blanket. Yeah, it's a first order blanket. And these TIE Fighters are pretty cool. These are $29.99. It's a lot cheaper than Kylo Ren's version. All right, so that was first order cargo. Let's move on to the next shop. As you walk down through Droid Alley from the First Order Cargo Supply Store, on your right is going to be the Droid Depot shop. So how about we go ahead and take a look in that. So inside this shop you'll obviously find Droid merchandise, but they also have uh, a lot of t-shirts. They have these cool keychains right here, and these are actually pretty heavy. Uh, and they got some, definitely got some girth to them. These are $12.99, and then they also have these cool mugs down here too. I always like looking at the mugs. These are $19.99 and uh, they have a bunch of different droid like blueprints on them. Those are pretty cool. You can also get an upcycled droid here. And these are, hold on one second. All right, and then these are $95. And again, it's gonna look like that. They also have a BB-8 version too. They also have these cool photo frames. How much is that, Michael? That's $85. $85 for a the photo frame. memorable frames. photo frame. Yeah, it's four by, uh, four by six, by the way. And then as you get a little deeper into the shop, this is where you uh, build your own droid. So if you guys are familiar with the company called Ride Makers, it's similar to that. Uh, and the aspect of kind of piecing them together, but this is clearly a million times better because you're building a droid. And uh, when you do get the chance to build a droid, they just the pieces come out on a cool little conveyor belt right here, and you just pick your own pieces, and it tells you right here on the directions either you do build an R2 unit or a BB unit. What's cool is you can also get these droid personality chips, and they're all different. They all make different noises. These are, by the way, let's see, where's the price? On? Oh, $12.99. And again, they have different colors and have different personalities. Uh, it's funny because during the preview when I was here, they did have a tester to test out what noise it made. So maybe they moved that somewhere else. But again, tons of different options here. And they have these. These are really cool. I actually do like the uh, this Rex. It's like a, it's not a poster. It's like a, a frame that you'd hang on the wall. How much are these, Michael? Um, these are $150, oh, so not so bad. $150 and uh, it's got some weight to it though, huh? Yeah. That's cool. Um, and it does come with a thing on the back to hang it up on the wall. So that's not too shabby. Again, annual pass holder discounts apply here as well. 
They also have these pre-made droids if you don't want to build one. Uh, they also have this guy, which I he uh, Rex hooks up to your uh, Bluetooth and he plays out uh, music, I believe. He comes with a remote control as well. His eyes light up. Uh, let's see. He has a remote control. But yeah, Bluetooth speaker connectivity. And uh, Rex is, if I can get the price here. What is he? Oh, he's $194. And then these are also $100. And then on top of that, these do not come with a personality chip, so you're going to have to buy that separate if you want these to have different sounds and stuff. They have these pretty cool backpacks. Um, I actually do like these. I do like the little detail right here at the bottom. Let's see, how much are these backpacks? It looks like it's a secret. They are $39.99, so that's actually pretty uh, average. It's not bad at all. And then here's the station where you build your droid. And as you can see, once you power it up, it can roll around and everything. And what's cool is all of the robots that you do purchase here interact inside uh, the land on a bunch of different things. So they will beep randomly when they when, if you walk up to something. Um, or just they'll start talking to other droids. It's really cool. All right, so this shop right here is called Doc Ondor's uh, Den of Antiquities. The line for this is just incredible. So, uh, and it's like that because inside here is very, it's not very small, it's just there's a lot going on in there. So if they were to jam all these people in there, it would just be nearly impossible for you to just kind of move. So they're just doing this for safety reasons, I'm sure, um, and efficiency reasons, because it's just easier to get people in and out that way. But the shop itself is very, very uh, cool. It's got so many little details in it. And the merchandise uh, is, again, specific to this location alone. You can't find multiple, uh, you can't find the same merchandise in all the shops in Galaxy's Edge. It's all different. All right, so now let's move on to my favorite section of Galaxy's Edge, and that's the marketplace. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the shops here. There's a shop right here, and uh, there's two more on the end. This right here is a popcorn stand, so you'll just find the popcorn at this location. All right, so this little shop is called Black Spire Outfitters, and you're gonna find um, all your Jedi robes and all that kind of stuff here. This one, by the way, is $100. Uh, the quality is pretty nice. It's similar to the robes at uh, Hogsmeade and uh, Universal Studios for Harry Potter uh, land. This is what it looks like on a model. You can also buy this uh, underpiece as well, which is over here. And this piece is a surprise. It's free. You can just get it for free. This is uh, $69.99. Oh, look, and you get a little hidden Mickey on there, too. And then here are some of the women's uh, options here. This particular piece of clothing is $49.99 for that. And then here are some of the black robes. Again, I believe these are also uh, $100, just like the brown one. Michael's gonna double check for me. These are more oh, expensive. Oh, actually, these are more expensive. So $124.99 for this. All right, the next shop in the marketplace is this one, and it's called Jewels of Fifth. So how about we take a closer look at that? Again, another unique shop here, and uh, the details are just amazing on the ceiling here. I love these lamps, lamps and uh, different lanterns and stuff that are hanging down. But here you can get your uh, water fan. Those are these are going to be popular in the summer. These are twenty ninety five, so that's pretty average price. Here's a cool little children's shirt of Black Spire Outpost. These are twenty four ninety nine. And then Michael has uh, a little replica of the Millennium Falcon area, and these are how much? These are $30. $30. Then over here we got some cool patches. Uh, we have a luggage tag here. And then we also have keychains. The keychains, I believe, are $9 or $10. Yep, they're $9.99. And the patches, which look like that, are $9.99 as well. They also have specific pins over here as well. So we have this particular pin, which looks pretty cool. This is $9.99, so I'm assuming all of them are the same price. And then they also have these cool mugs up here. These are $16.99. I actually like that one. That's a good, it's a pretty cool looking uh, mug. I don't know why I was about to say car. What am I talking about? I'm just so overwhelmed, everyone. Michael's gonna press the buttons. Anything happen? No. All right, next up is the creature stall. How about we take a closer look at this? This is where you can buy all your little alien creatures. 
There's usually a little creature in this bag right here, but it looks like he's uh, looks like he's gone to the vet. Let's see what's over here. We have some porgs. These are really soft. And, uh, well, it looks like they make noise as well. Oh. And by the way, these are $44.99. Buy me! Buy me! Please, buy me! I also take the annual pass discount. They have these little guys. Uh, how much is he? But they do make noise. <laughs> and then they have these cool wampas. A lot of you will recognize this creature. And he is, if I can get the tag, oh, $39.99. It's pretty cool. He's also pretty soft. They have this little guy hanging out in his cage. So cool. The details, again, are just a nothing short of jaw-dropping. And then inside all these little crates in here, like, there's so many different animal noises happening. There's, like, little creature laughing. There's, like, bugs. It's just, there's so much going on. All right, and then the last shop here in the marketplace is the Tordarian Toy Maker Shop. So how about we take a closer look at that? Here you'll find some different plush toys, and they're all unique too. They look um, a little different, each thing, each one of them. I know that was one thing they wanted to achieve in the, all these shops, is all the merchandise looks different and uh, is unique to its space. By the way, these forks are $17.99. Ray here is $20. And then Princess Leia is also 20. Look at that mobile. This is awesome. I want, I want that. That's really cool. If you guys are having kids, totally get that for your kid. And in this shop, they just have a bunch of different things, like these cool puzzle pieces. Uh, these, this particular puzzle is $22.99. They have a little maze puzzle right here. And then they have this cool little puzzle as well. So I hope this uh, video was definitely helpful for those wanting to shop here at Galaxy's Edge. I went over a lot of the merchandise. There's still so much more merchandise though. So when you come here in person, definitely take your time looking through all of it because there's just so, it's overwhelming how much there is. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because I have brand new videos every single week and you won't want to miss out on all the new content. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.